Okay, so as part of the PDCAT, one of the things we've had to do was develop uh, intervention that we could use in class to develop, maybe uh, to teach maybe a complex topic or something that students find difficult to grasp. Now, at first, I thought this I was quite sceptical towards the idea of developing it. I didn't really know how I could introduce a game or some sort of activity and really what the point of it would be, how would that help them learn. So, but being a requirement of the course, I went into it with an open mind, as you'll develop with the PG Cat, you've got to have an open mind through it and you do develop it. Um, so I went in and what I developed was a, a balloon idea, a simple balloon and a pin to demonstrate the idea of catastrophe theory in psychology, which any psychologist will know, you get to an optimal point or arousal where performance is best and then any increase and you'll see a sudden decrease in performance, a catastrophe happens. So I developed this idea that you inflate the balloon, um, the effort goes into the balloon, in the case of arousal, balloon increases in the case of performance. Now with the pin, you pop the pin and you have your catastrophe. Now at first I thought, I'll just do it for the sake of it, what can I buy with my three pound budget that I was allocated? So balloon, some pins, job done, get it out of the way, another activity done. But in reality when I was in the class, I tried it and actually the class bought into it, they really liked the idea of getting someone up in front, a loud bang of the balloon and now whenever we talk about arousal theories, catastrophe theories, you can always relate back to the balloon. So even something as simple as that, the bang of the balloon, something a bit daft that maybe they're a bit dubious of why I was doing it, it's helped them remember that concept. So that's something I'm going to develop into the rest of my teaching, just give them key triggers that may be a bit daft, maybe not too relevant, but just gives them that trigger that they can reflect on. Now, so, so from something quite, um, quite abstract that Chrissy made us do, it's really given me a positive idea that I can roll out into my own teaching.